Today we start chapter three. Chapter three, chapter three, chapter three. The first topic. Chapter three is this: is the quadratic function and their applications. Okay, super. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Ready. Are you familiar with the quadratic function? Because we are working before. So we have two different ways. We study in detail now. Uh, uh, please, I make I hear a noise. Some people talking. I cannot detect the uh -huh, okay, Danny. Danny, please I put the music up to time. Okay. Okay, the first one of the quadratic function is a standard. The standard is the classical. You know, it's when you have the function f of x equal a x squared plus bx plus c. This is a loop line similar no? to the quadratic equation, no? but this is not an equation, it's a function. Now it's obvious that the most important thing here is that a is not zero. Because the a is missing, it's not quadratic. No? This is clear. However, we have another way to express the same idea, which is called vertex form. Uh -huh. This is a standard, a standard what? A standard form. And this is a vertex form. Two different forms to spread the same idea. Um, advantage and disadvantage. Uh, in vertex, f of x is equal a, f of x is equal a, a parenthesis x minus h square plus k. This is another way to express the same thing. Uh -huh. However, I want to stay relationship between both. Well, you know, how we convert from this to this, to this to that, advantage and disadvantage of both four. For example, the first important thing in the vertex form is because we have two new parameters, which is H and K. And H and K represent the vertex form. That is the reason that the name is the vertex, vertex point. And what is the vertex point? Well, vertex point is the most important point in the parabola because the parabola, it looks like, like that, maybe, and this point is the vertex. Okay, it's a vertex. It's a super important point. When you are doing the graph of the any quadratic function, it's obvious that you never forgot the vertex. It's important point, turning point. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. H and K, can you see clear who is H and who is K in this equation? But in this, no. This is the advantage. Okay. Um, what is the idea for the A? Ah, A. A is the same A. This A is the same A of this. The same. The same parameter. And A, A indicate me in what direction open the parabola. For example, when the A is positive, when the A is positive number, the parabola open up like that. See, A is negative, for example, this is the vertex, this is the parabola open down, open down, when A is negative. Okay? A is negative. And the vertex stays the same here, the same. Vertex. Okay, this is super important. Uh -huh. Another important thing is the axis of symmetry. Another important thing is the axis of symmetry. Uh -huh. This is very important. Why is it important? Because axis of symmetry always, always 
there's a vertical line. There's a vertical line passing through the vertex like that. Boom, 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 boom. Axial sinus. And split the parabola in two equal parts. What is important? What is the reason it's important? Because when you have, for example, some point, you can find the corresponding point by symmetry. Symmetry means that that distance is equal to that distance, and you determine it here. Uh, suppose, suppose, hypothetical, suppose that this point is uh, 2,4, and the axis of symmetry is located at the line because it's a vertical line, x equal 2. Uh -huh. Now, this distance between two uh, has no sense in two. One. One, sorry. One. And uh -huh. the distance between one and two is one. Because that distance is one. And that distance is also one. And that point would be a distance one in the other direction is zero. Come on. Okay, because it's in total two, two, one plus one is two. And the axis of symmetry is split the parabola into two equal part, and you take advantage. This point have the corresponding image here. This is the importance of the axis of symmetry. Okay. Another important, I have to say, by the way, what is the, the formula with the equation of the axis of symmetry? Well, x, x equal h. x equal h. In general, this is also a particular hypothetic example. But in general, it's x equal h. And who is h? h is this part. Okay. Now, important also is find another extra point, no, only the vertex. No, vertex is only one point. We need at least, at least three points. Three points is not absolutely enough, but it's okay. We have maybe five points. The two and the vertex, including the vertex, five point. Uh, to make, you know, a decent a graph of the parabola. Uh -huh. And another point is super important is the, 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 the y in a set uh -huh. and the x in a set. I want to explain this in detail now. Y in a set, guy, the formula to find any y is not only in this function, in any function, in any, is evaluate the function s0. Using, this is a fantastic way to memorize what is the formula for finding the y in a set in any function. And we use it throughout the semester. Today in the quadratic, but after in another more complicated function. And in order to find the x in a set, well, 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 you put f of x equal to 0. This is a formula yeah, I need to remember if you want to find the x in a set. Uh -huh. So now I come back. I come back now to a standard. Okay, in a standard, in a standard, look, the thing that we are doing in the chapter one is the solution of the quadratic equation. And you set out like that. Look, a x squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. The reason this equal to zero is because, look, 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 we are finding this zero. So basically, when you set out and you solving the quadratic equation, uh -huh, uh, well, you find the x in a set, so the real, the real x in a set of the parabola. Uh -huh. Because we have we have three possibilities. We have three possibilities. The possibility we have is one, two, and three possibilities. This is x, y axis, x, y axis. Uh -huh. The most common possibility is that you have two because the parabola is like that. Boom boom. If this is the x in a set is the point when the parabola crosses the x-axis. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And this situation happens when the expression inside the square root in the quadratic formula gets b squared minus 4ac is positive. Mm. So this is this is good. This expression sometimes is called discriminant. Discriminant. 
discriminant. Discriminant. And normally in the book, in some book called capital D. See, capital D is, is positive. Uh -huh. I know that my parabola have two real x in itself. If D is zero, uh, okay, very, very seldom happen, not frequently, and then the parabola crossing only one point, like that. You have only one. So in this case, you have two real solution. In this case, we have only one real solution. What is the real solution? This one. And if b squared minus 4ac is negative, no, we have no real solution. So our graph never crosses the x axis. And the algebraic way to see is that we have complex solution. A complex number, remember, is a it's a number that living in another field, uh -huh. and when you are doing the graph, x and y are real number. So the complex number is in another dimension, living in another dimension. Okay. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. So now this is the idea for the x in a set. It's more complicated. However, the idea for the y in a set is super easy. Y in a set. Why don't we use it again that formula, no? Uh huh. But specifically. If you have the, the function and the given problem, no? In a standard, when you evaluate in zero, look at what happens. Zero X here and zero Y here only stay alive C. So the point is zero comma C. Zero comma C is super easy. You see what is the C value in our function is two, three, four. This is, this is the Y intercept. And, and, this, and the bit is, no obvious the y and set you need to compute it let's see example and right now in a few minutes uh-huh um um however the vertex here is no obvious mm -mm -mm. i find no idea i want to prove now where it's located the vertex when you have in the standard like that in this case it's obvious in this case is the uh, automatically the point h comma boom Directly. Okay. So you understand this and you have no question. Uh -huh. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Everything is clear. Uh -huh. Now I want to I want to show you how we convert. We convert. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Question? No? Okay. I, I, noise. Noise. Too many noise. All right, who is the making noise? Okay. All right, let me see. Oh. Okay. Good. No noise. What's the C and the, and the Y? y, 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 y I'm sorry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let, I repeat again, Mister. Hey, Mister Holmes, right? Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Look, Mister Holmes. C is that number, no? Uh -huh. And I prove mathematically that that number, the one specific example is, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, correspond always with the point is the y in the set. Okay? I promise can you know, few, few, few minutes, you see one, two, three example in detail. Okay? Try to get the theoretical idea. This is theoretical introduction, no? uh -huh. and, and, and uh, let me explain one more thing, one more thing, theoretical, of course. Okay, how we convert? Suppose that we have in one problem is given the quadratic function, but in standard. How we convert? to uh, vertex form. Okay, something like that. Y equal, Y, y for vertex, it doesn't matter. A 
x minus h square plus k. Well, you using completed the square. One more time, completed the square. Okay, we're using in the test two for the sphere. Remember, it's a sphere known circle, circle. Okay, but let's do it a little, little, little bit different way. For example, you take the original, I want to apply completed square, but to apply completed square, we need, we need the coefficients here one. Look, this coefficient to be one, not a. But actually, in my problem is a. Okay, so say you divide by a, whole thing. Oh. You divide by a, whole thing, because I want to do artificially get the coefficient in front of a is equal a1. So y over a is equal to x squared uh -huh, plus b over a x plus something, the complete square. Uh -huh. and well, 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 I propose you, let's do it step by step. Let's do it step by step. This is c over a. Okay, now I move c over a to the to the left. Uh -huh. And you put a box. Okay, th this box is the number that we need to complete the square. Uh -huh. This is equal sign, sorry. And uh, the right hand side take x square plus b over a x plus box. And remember, this is the magic number that completes the square. And the formula is B, yeah, actually B is B over A, divided by 2, and a square. And B square over 4A square. And you copy here now, B square over 4A square, and B square over 4A square. Okay, super. I know that when you are doing this action, this trinomial is perfect square, and the factorization is x plus b over 2a squared. Where come from that? Well, x is a square root x squared, and b over 2a is a square root this guy. Uh -huh. Now here, i, 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 for example, i, when I put y over a exactly the same, However, I want to put, for example, in this, we condense in this in one common denominator, get 4a, 4a squared, uh, 4a squared. And we have b squared uh -huh, minus 4ac. Super. Okay. Now, I want to, that is the last step. No more mathematical proof, guys. I, 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 I put y over a here, stay in the left hand side. In the right hand side, we have x plus b over 2a squared, and well plus, and you change the sign of this, for a minus b squared over 4a squared. It doesn't matter, you put minus here, and you put the original order, and you put minus, and this is like a more, you know, uh, the proof okay, you can see in the book. Now, finally, the multiply whole thing by a, by a, by a, and by a, because I want to solve for y. Y alone is equal a x plus b over 2a squared. Uh -huh. And this a cancel out with the only one, and it stay for ac minus b squared over 4 Okay, this is a crucial moment, no more blah, 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 no more mathematica, no, no, no. I, I compare now the equation in vertex form is a x minus h squared, look okay. Here I can see clear, wow, look at that, h, or negative h, is this. Okay, this is a negative h is equal to b over 2a, oh, 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 much better h positive is minus b over 2. This is the most important formula today. That is a reason I highlight. We're using 
throughout this lecture several times today. And K, well, K is 4AC minus B squared over 4A. This is important, but not, not super important. Why no? Because there are no reason to memorize this formula. It's a little bit more complicated. Because in order to find the K, we can plug it in in the function H. And you get K because who is K? K is the Y value associated with the H. Because the vertex is located at the point. Uh huh. H comma K. You see what, how you find the Y value of the when the X value is given and you have the function in your hand. Plug it in. That's it. That's it. This is most important and this is secondary. Okay, super. So after that, so anytime that you want, you can use in the complete square. But no, 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 no. You avoid the complete square using the formula. What formula? The green formula. The green formula. Let's practice. Let's practice. You have no question. Let's go directly to the example one. We have three examples. I want to do by hand. After that, I want to show you the, the decimal simulation script of the decimal simulation. Example one, example one, example one, to understand this idea. Okay, suppose this given that function is minus two, parenthesis, x minus one, square, plus a. Uh -huh. My first question is, the professor don't say anything, but I need to be able to identify the quadratic. What is the glue the quadratic? Well, okay, the glue is this two. Exponent two is quadratic. Uh -huh. uh, however, I have two versions of the quadratic, a standard or vertex form. What do you think? Is vertex or a standard? What do you think? You have two possibilities. Let me know. Is vertex four? Absolutely, absolutely. It's vertex four. Mr. Jose, it's vertex four, professor. Because look like similar. Let me copy the vertex four. Is a x minus h square plus k. Aha, uh -huh, so you perfectly, we can identify who is a, who is h, and who is K? Be careful. Be careful with the sign. Who is A? Who is A? Who is A? Who is A? What value associated with the A? A. A. Ne ne negative. negative. You are right, Mister. Thank you. Uh -huh. And what about H? Sure, sure. And what about H? And what about H? Negative, negative one. No, positive one. Positive one. Positive. Yeah, because look, it's, it's gotcha. exactly the same sign. See, you see plus here, boom. Maybe you are right. Because this plus come from for the double negative one. So my formula have in mind, default. Uh -huh. So now, when you see that my formula have in mind, it's because the value of the H is positive. And what about K? Who is the value of the K? Who is the value of the K? Look at the formula and compare with the the stand the the the, the vertex form, the general vertex form. What about K? What about K? K is equal what? Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, hey, positive or negative? Positive. Absolutely. Let's go. Uh huh. Okay, so the K have the same sign you see in the equation, but H no. Okay, bueno, in this case, it's negative, it's positive. But in this case, it's positive, it's positive. This, this idea is clear or is confused? It's clear, right? Therefore, I know that the vertex of this parabola, quadratic function is parabola, is located at the point 1, comma A. Because it's H comma K. Look at that. H comma K. And this parabola open, open, open. In what direction open? Open down or open up? 
open. Down. In what direction open? Down. 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 How do you know get down? What is the clue? Okay, give me information to open down. What is the Make clue? A. A is the guy who has the control, totally control, in what direction open the bar. Si A is negative, down. Si A is positive, up. And this famous point, this famous point, is the point, one comma A, you know? Because it's the point. Super. And that's it, no? Of course, no. We need more point. We need, for example, Y and Z. What is the formula for the Y and Z? Oh, no, evaluate the function in zero. Let's do it. You take the original equation, minus two, zero minus one, square plus A. Well, zero minus one is negative one, negative one is square, positive two, positive, uh, negative, Zero minus one is negative one, and negative one is square is positive one multiplied by negative two is negative two plus a is positive six. And the point, the famous point, is the point zero comma six. Professor, wh where, what is the reason that zero? Ah, zero because you have always x equals zero here. This is x and this is the y associated with the same equation. That is the reason. So we have in my hand. Look, one point, two point. Yeah, also I know que the parabola open in that direction. It's a good clue, but no enough. Now let's find in the x in a set. To find in x in a set, you solve in the quadratic equation. Then you copy f of x equals zero. It's equivalent to say que minus two parentheses x minus one square plus a is equal to zero. And you focus it in this equation. And using the knowledge can you have in the chat the one, for example, I move a to the left, like minus a is equal to minus two, x minus one, you divide it by negative two. Remember my goal is solve for x, f power the four, is equal to x minus 1 square. And now you find the square root both sides, like the square root method. I know get 2, but plus or minus. Don't forget the plus or minus. Huh? Equal. And you know that square root and square power just cancel out each other. It's x minus. Therefore, x alone, okay, let me try here, is equal. I move one to another side, it's one plus or minus two. Okay, I put one is negative in the left and the right, I move to the left like a positive one. Actually, we have one plus two, is three, and one minus two is negative. This is the solution for the quadratic equation that represent the uh, x in a set, the real x in a set. Okay, but wait, 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 wait. I want to express it like all the pair, okay? Like all the pair, like all the pair. So say this point is the point, the comma zero, and this point would be negative one comma zero because the supposition at the beginning was, okay, why is zero? Look at that. That's the supposition for finding the excellence. Okay, good. So, so I have a lot of points now. Wow, good, I like that. Okay, one more information we need uh, about this one. We have the axial symmetry, important. Axial symmetry. Axial symmetry of this parabola is the vertical line. Any vertical line is x equal something. But I know the professor is playing is x equal h. Who is h in this example? h is 1. Okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready. Let's do it by hand. The graph. Uh, enough information. Let's bring to the whiteboard the picture of the rectangular coordinate system. Okay, I plot the point I have in my hand. Uh -huh. After we are doing decimals to make sure everything is okay, I plot the first point, get 1, 8. 
Look. It's doing step by step. One comma. Boom. It's the vertex. Oh, it's too far. Sorry. Is I extending a little bit? Well, no, no, using the rule. I extending a little bit the y axis. Uh -huh, there you go. I agree. Extending a little bit the y axis in that direction. Whoa. No rule anymore. And uh -huh, I just suppose using my imagination that this is. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow, eight here. Eight comma one. Eight, one comma eight. So one comma eight at the point like that. Boom. One comma eight. Uh -huh. We have another point in case zero comma six. Is the y and set zero comma six is here. Look. Zero comma six, and we have two x in a set. It's 3,0 mm -mm, here, over there, 3,0, and ah, negative 1,0. Mm. So I have some idea how look like my parabola, because extra information that we have at the axis of symmetry. Look, the axis of symmetry look like, like that. It's the vertical line x equal 1, passing through 1, vertical line. Boom, 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 boom. Normally, the axis of symmetry, you put in dotted line, black color. Okay? This is the axis of symmetry. This is always the notation. We use it for the axis of symmetry. So we have, let me, let me summarize, we have in, in my hand, so far, one point, vertex, y and set, two x and set. Uh -huh, but the professor say okay, we need five points. And we have only four. Okay, but we can use my imagination and uh, using the symmetry idea. Uh huh. And so I know that okay, this point has uh, one image here, right? And the same distance of the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is, is located in one. The y and the z is located in zero. So that point, that new point, is the point mm -mm, 2,6. Makes sense, right? It's one unit in this direction. Look, look, this this distance is exactly the same of this that, that distance. But the height is the same, get the y value get six. I mean, similar situation happen in this point. Look, this distance is two, and this distance is also two. They are completely image. Uh -huh. Now ready to make a sketch of the parabola. Guys, the parabola never do lie like that. The parabola have no corner. It's a wrong. The parabola is a smooth curve. Smooth. Like that. Okay, I try to do my base. Okay. It's hard for me doing using this electronic vein. Boom. Something like that. Any question? Any question? Five point, axial symmetry, vertex, open down, parabola. Let me show you my sketch that I'm doing in decimals to verification that everything is okay. Nice, no problem. All right, let me try. Try, try, try. Sweet. Quadratic function. Okay, quadratic function. Now this more for you. Boom. 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 Do you see this? Yes. Do you sir, see? Yes, sir. Okay. Look, this is example one. It's exactly the same. I type it here. I type in the equation. I type in the extra point. I type in the axial symmetry. Let me see, complete the picture. Boom. There you go. Vertex. Why I said extra additional point using my common sense and symmetry and the x in the set. End the story. Any question? Easy, eh? Or complicated? It's supposed to be easy, eh?
So let's move on. See, 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 see everyone understand very well. Let's move on to example two. Example two now. Sure. Example two now. Switching to the whiteboard. Okay, there you go. Do you see what going now or no? Do you see or no? Yes or no? Yes? Do you see or no? Answer me. Hey, what's going on? Yes, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Kemali, Alfonso. Okay, example two now. When I change a little bit, I change a little bit. I give the function, but I'll give the function in standard. Like that, 3x squared plus 12x plus 5. Okay, wow, this is no vertex 4. Like the example one, no, 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 no. This is a standard. In a standard, I recognize that A3, B12, and C5 similar. The thing that we are doing when you solve the quadratic equation, but actually it's not quadratic equation, it's quadratic function. And the goal in that part is do the graph. At least in this move. So now I need to find, well, actually I can see that A is positive, look, A3. Therefore, this parabola open up, open up, because A is three. When the three, when the number is positive, you say, I know very well. Can the parabola open up? Good. Uh, open up. Uh -huh. And what about that point? Mm, the vertex, the famous vertex. Okay, in this case, it was extremely easy because I take H and K, but in this case, no. In this case, unfortunately, I need to compute H and K. To compute H and K, H, I use my famous formula minus B over 2A. Look at that. It's a my famous formula. H is the, is the X component of the vertex. Is minus B, but B is 12. Uh -huh, B is 12 over 2 times A K3. Well, this is 2 times 3 is 6. 2 divided by 6 is negative. It's negative. This is the, the H value that represents the X component for the vertex. In order to find the Y, it's easy. Not necessarily remember the long, stupid formula. You plug it in negative 2 into the original function because I have in my hand the x value that you need to find the y value. Just plug it in where in the original function is 3 and negative 2 squared plus 12 and negative 2 plus 5. Okay, negative 2 squared is 4. Positive 4. Positive 4 times 3 is 12. This is negative 24, it's so obvious, right? Uh -huh. And this is 5. And your subtraction is negative 12. I read 12 plus 5 is negative 7. Mm, this is a K value. So the our vertex is located at the point negative 2, negative 7. Negative 2, negative 7. Suppose I would like, by curiosity, right? the equation in vertex form okay i know that the equation in vertex form is f of x or y whatever you want it's the same you know f of x or y guys it's the same s equal a k3 r indice x minus h pero h is negative two so we have double negative you know and the formula let me copy the formula here a x minus h square plus k uh -huh. 
In our specific example, H is negative 2, so it's in the formula is plus 2. The reason it's plus is because we have double negative, the, the negative of the value and the negative of the form. And when you plug it in here, you have double sign. It's positive. Uh -huh. And minus 7. Minus 7 is K. K is, K is 7 minus 7. And the formula you have plus, plus, or minus, minus. Okay, I convert directly from a standard to vertex. No problem, guy. And if you want to do it in opposite direction, it's easier. Because it's just foil and combine it. It's just something. And that's it. No, 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 no. I need to do more. I need to I need to find maybe Y and Z, X and Z. Aha. Uh -huh. But going to find Y and Z in my opinion is much better looking the standard because I know in the standard C K5 in this case is the Y and Z. The, the Y and Z is the point zero more five. Boom. Okay, in this case no no it's not good to see the five. But you can plug it in. Ah, I plug it in 0 plus 2 is 2 to the square of 4, 12 minus 7 is 5. Okay, you can, you can. Either way, uh -huh. the way that you prefer. Now, uh, in order to find the x in a set, mm, 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 it's always a little bit more complicated. You put the function equal to 0. It's equal 3x squared plus 12x plus 5. And now, we probably similar, similar to the, the chapter one. And so in the quadratic equation, we have the correlation ABC of the coefficients, and you apply the quadratic formula. One more time. Because actually, sometimes having a by factorization is hard. So it's minus 12 plus or minus square root Minus 12 is minus 12, no. Positive 12, because B is positive 12. And minus in the first, because the formula has a minus. But inside the radical, no. So 12 squared, minus 4, multiplication by 3, can say multiplication by 5. Divided by 2 times 3, okay, 6. We focus it in the expression inside. The expression inside is, let me show you here. We compute that part first. It's 144, 144, uh -huh. and this is minus 60. Yeah, because it's 12 times 5. And subtraction is 84. I need to compute square root 84. Okay, when you see that, I know okay, 84 is no perfect square number. Therefore, the answer is real, for sure, but it's um, irrational, maybe. Let me try, 84 is, is divisible by 2, no? Okay, 42. 42 is divisible by 2, but 21. And 21 is 3 and 7, but basically, the only couple they can see for the simplification is this couple to that represent 1, 2. So if you want to express more elegant, this radical 84 is 2 radical 21. Because this 2 is this 2 is this 2, and this 21 is 3 and 7 can stay inside the radical because the guy, this guy, don't get married and go outside like one, only 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 this couple. And so far, my answer is minus 12 plus or minus 2 radical 21 divided by 6. Leave it like that, no. No, 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 because any coefficient is divisible by 2. If you divide by 2, top and bottom, uh -huh, we have minus 6 plus or minus like a 21 divided by 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More elegant. But, see, my goal is do the graph. Mm -mm, I am lost. I have no idea how this does. So you take Negative 6 plus radical 21 divided by 3, 
and minus 6 minus radio 21 divided by 3, and you put in a calculator and you compute the decimal approximation. And the decimal approximation for the first is negative 0 0.47, and the second is negative 3.52. Okay, therefore, my point. It's weird, I don't know, it's decimal, but it's a, it's, a, it's a real, therefore the point R, the point R negative 0 0.47, 0 and negative 3.53, 0. Uh -huh. Now the axis of symmetry. That's all we have been. Is the vertical line x equal to something h? In this case, h is I forgot negative two. So we have a vertical line negative two, negative two, no positive two, negative two. We have one vertical line passing through the point x equal to minus two. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. So, so now let's see again in this most the graphic. I don't want to do by hand anymore. Okay, guy, my my. Highly recommendation is when you are doing with me and my subject some graph, you open this move. This move is your graphical grid. No? And if you want to send with me the graph, you um, import, import or export the graph so outside. Let me show you. Let me show you. And after I have two extra questions, the question is domain of this function. This is extra, no now. Domain and range. When we come back, I suppose that you see the answer of this. Domain and range. This is extra question that I don't ask you in the first exam. Let's move on to the this one to see. Boom. Okay, now share the screen. A second with a second. This is the complicated part for me. Switching to this one. Boom. 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 Do you see? Do you see right? Well, this is uh -huh, this was example one. Okay, now let's move on to example two. Example two is the parabola okay, open up, no? Look, example two. Example two is the parabola. Oh yeah, look at that. This is the equation. Uh -huh, I copied two equations. Look, this is super interesting. The, the question original gets given it was a stamp like that. Bam. Okay, I assume I define black color. But I discovered throughout the problem that okay, this guy, this guy, is a color in red color. Okay, let me remove black color, red color. You see, it's the same. It's the same parable. Either way, they are perfect equivalence. And the famous point that we found, that we discovered, was vertex. Who is the vertex? Negative 2, negative 7. What is the x in the set? Negative 3.53,0 and negative 0 0.47,0. Okay, we found using the quadratic formula. And y in the set, 0 0.5. Does it we have one, two, three, four point? If you need one extra point, we're using the symmetry. For example, this is symmetric with this. But what is the symmetry of this point? Well, the distance is two. That distance is two. Zero, negative two, but the distance is positive. It's two. And two in opposite direction. Two plus two is four. And negative four because we move into the left. And the same y value can find. Bang. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. So, so now, try to answer that question. What is the domain of that function? Well, Professor, you explain me that the domain is all real number except the restriction. But in the quadratic function, we never have restriction. Because to make, to, to have restriction, we need division by zero, so you need fractions, or you need the square root is when the, the argument inside the square root is negative, so it's imaginary. Huh? 
In this case, no. So this is nice. It's all real number. The domain is all real number. In any quadratic function, always. However, the range, no. Why no? Because the parabola open from negative 7 to positive infinity. So is paid from negative infinity to positive infinity? No. Because when you're projecting our parabola onto the y-axis, the only value that we have is from negative 7 to positive infinity. We have no parabola in negative 8, in negative 9, in negative 10. Look, let me show you more clear. Bam. This is my range. I highlight in black color or in gray color. Okay? Do you see this or no? Any question? Any question? Any question? What part you don't understand? Oh, well, let's come back again to the whiteboard. Guy, you are too quiet today. Uh, to say, I understand that you, I, I suppose, no? You can't plug all this information into Desmos, right? It's not going to just gonna show you the range, right? Yes, 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 yes. I show you the range. The range, but, okay, wait. Okay. Let me come back again. Wait, wait, wait. Let me come back again to the whiteboard. Okay, I, I always... Uh, I mean, understand, Professor. Dylan is saying that. Okay. Dylan is good, too. Okay, let me try to uh, share screen. Uh, switching to the whiteboard. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, look at that, look at that, look at that. This is whiteboard again. Okay, the answer for the domain is obvio. Okay, it's all real number. Everyone understand this or no? No restriction, it's a parabola. And the parabola, when you projecting any point of the parabola onto the x-axis, it's all real number. However, when you project it onto the y, no. Because the parabola open in one direction. It's from the vertex, maybe, to the infinity positive, depending if the parabola open up, it's to infinity positive. But if the parabola open down, it's infinity negative. And in this case, no. In this case, it's from negative 7 to infinity, no? So it's the lower bound is negative 7, and the upper is positive infinity. In infinity, you know, always we put the parentheses because infinity is a symbolic way to indicate one thing to continue forever but you never reach you never reach you never touch who says it's parentheses and so what about negative seven is bracket or is parentheses what do you think bracket or parentheses question and negative seven bracket absolutely bracket because touch physically negative seven. super 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 we are the best in miami Day college let's move on to the one more example and this new example bring me new situation no? bring me new complicated situation okay 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 i want to erase everything guys i suppose you copy and by the way by curiosity you copy or you watching the video after or what is the the best way to study this subject? Huh? Example three. Huh? You you some people prefer you, you know you have the habit, the face to face lecture in which every student copy, 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 copy. Personally, I like to copy, you know, personal. But I want to hear opinion no? because it's the new era no? of the pandemic. You know, to say some people have technology watching the video again, copy after, or I don't know. Okay, question one this is, is a standard or vertex four? A standard or vertex four? So, my, my, my first standard challenge standard. is vertex four. Mm -mm. I don't see standard. A standard. My first challenge is determine. See, my problem is expressed in that way or in that way. It's obvious in that way. 
and the way of this is called the standard. Unfortunately, in this case, no, no practice. Okay, I respect that. Now, I determine who is ABC. 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 You automatically, when you have in your hand A, B, and C, you determine in what direction open this parabola. Tell me, I will say. Who is A? Negative, negative one. one. P, four, no? And C, negative five. Negative five. And it could be one elegant five. No, this is weird five. Now, in what direction open that parabola? In what direction open this parabola? Open to the right, to the upward or mm. downward? Huh? Eh? Down. Down. Open down. How yeah, do you know? How do you know you open down? Because the negative one. Negative one A. Oh, okay. When the A is negative. When the A is negative, it's open down. Okay, super. Okay, my next step is find the famous vertex. The most important point. But unfortunately, we have no vertex for we have a standard. Well, okay, okay, no problem. I use in the formulas. What formula? That formula. A is equal minus B minus B over two A. Remember, I explained this is the most important formula today. Uh -huh. so the H in our example is minus. The formula half a contain a minus. Uh -huh. Does it be a four? Two times A get one. A negative one. Sorry. A negative one. A is negative one. So actually, we have double negative in my formula. It's positive. And four divided by two is two. Two positive is H. Is the component. So the vertex is located at the point 2, something. And K, the super fantastic way to evaluate the function, and 2. It's the H. So it says negative 2 squared. Be careful with the sign. Plus 4 times 2 minus 5. Uh, this might, it's no equal, guys. Negative 2 squared and negative 2 squared. Because this is a positive 4 and it's a negative 4. Okay? You understand this? I just plug it in to here. And this minus state, not inside the parenthesis. So it's a negative four plus a minus five. So the answer is negative one. It's negative one because negative four and negative five together is negative nine. And positive a is negative one. Okay. So my famous point is located at the point two comma negative one. Okay. Super. I like that. One more point is important. It's important the y is right? It's easy because I know it's 0, c. And c in our example is negative 5. Look at that. The y is located, no mathematical, 0, negative 5. Because I know that the y is always in that function, not the function, no, is c. And x in a set, mm -mm, it's more complicated, always. And you need to solve in the quadratic equation associated with the function. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try to do. It. Let's try to do. It. So says is one well, copy minus b plus or minus square root b square minus four ac divided by two. Uh huh. So in our example, it's negative four plus or minus square root b square is four square minus four multiplication by by negative one wow is a multiplication by negative five can c be careful with the sign divided by two times negative okay okay how many negative we have inside we have three no when you are doing that operation let's see what happens this is 16. And it's a minus because we have three negative. And so you have one negative and negative. If you have two negative, it's positive. If you have three negative, multiply and negative. 
n. Entonces es negative unfortunately es negative, 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 negative 20. Uy, uy, entonces es negative 4. And when you compute the square root negative 4, es imaginary que es 20. You know that. Ok, ok. Entonces, now, recommendation, recommendation. This is classical idea in algebra. When you try to do something that you don't know, in this case, it's an X in a set, and your answer is complex or imaginary, it's because do not exist. And you declare it in that moment, known. What means known? That we have known. So this parabola, never, never, never cross the exit. Okay? Uh -huh. This is classical. And you see in this chapter, in all the functions, and you see, for example, in chapter four, in another function, that when you try to find something and the answer is complex, epical do not exist. So basically, it's do not exist. Okay? Aha. Well, so now I propose you go to Desmos to simplify the thing because we have not too much information. We have everything in my hand, why I said, uh, axial symmetry, by the way, axial symmetry is axis of symmetry, or symmetry was, or is, x equal h, and h is two. You ask me something? Okay, let's move to this mode to see Next example, share, switching to Desmos, switching to Desmos, super. Do you see Desmos, guys? Okay, let me see example three. Uh -huh. Yes, Kemali, our phones. Okay, Kemali, look at that. Uh, example three look like, like that. Boom. So now, I discovered that the vertex of this parabola is located at the point 2 comma negative. And this parabola open down. And this parabola have y and set at the point 0 comma negative 5. And that's it. We have only two points. So, to do something, well, I try to use my common sense and imagination and compute the image or try to find the image of 0 comma negative 5. I don't see them. Wow, why? Okay, 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 okay. Let me try to share again. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, cancel. Do you see or no? Do you see or no? Yes. Okay. The thing I tried to explain was uh, this is my equation, my original equation. Look, look, look. I copy here. Uh, the point that I discovered, when I discovered only two, is the the vertex, this guy, and the y inside. In order to find one more, using the symmetry property, they discovered that that distance is two. And the distance from the y and set and the axial symmetry is two. Because we have another point, two units after the, the axial symmetry, no? So it's four comma negative five. Super, I like that. This is our famous axial symmetry. Okay. Okay, very, very good. Okay. Any question, guys? Well, what is the what is the application of this? Well, there are many applications of the quadratic functions. I try to illustrate two applications. Okay, two applications. Okay, why more now? 
Boom. Okay. Application, application, application. Application for the quadratic function. Uh, what, is the, what, is the, what is the most important idea in the application? In the application, the most important idea is optimization. Optimization. What mean a mathematical optimization? Find the best. The best, the best option. The best option. Uh -huh. How you find the best option in the quadratic function? Well, in the maximum or in the minimum. Depending. See, my parabola open down. It's obvious okay. that here in the vertex is a maximum. See, my parabola open up. It's obvious okay. in the vertex. My parabola have a minimum. And suppose. Suppose in one problem of the, you know, economic or finance, something, we are talking about money. Yeah, I need to maximize my money. This is this is the maximum. Okay, or cost. Because I need to minimize the cost of the production manufacturing. It doesn't now a minimum. This is the idea for the optimization. Let me go be the first application I bring here. Okay, application number one. Application number one. Say, suppose that manufacturing, guys, this is the this is the idea in the test. So in the test, manufacturer of a, you can see again and go over again to the review package, you know? Clothes, dry, dryer, dryer. Uh -huh. In this chapter, you can see in the test, one question or two questions about do the graph of the parabola. And you see two more problems like that in which your optimization. I suppose that the manufacturer of gas clothes dryer has found that comma when the unit price the unit price is p dollar uh -huh. then the 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 revenue revenue Mm -hmm. R capital R representing revenue in dollar is in dollar is like that column. So the, this is it's a formula R of P is equal negative four P square plus four thousand P. This is confusing, you know, because the variable that normally we use is X and Y. And the word problem not necessarily is x and y, but it's the same because you have one independent variable and one dependent variable. In this case, the independent variable p is the price. Uh, and the price somehow is connected by the revenue and dollar is r. Because I can see, wow, look at that. This is a quadratic function. How do you know? Well, because you see at least one exponent too. Okay, one point two here. And this quadratic function is, you know, this is present in standard, no? It's present in standard. The standard is A, oh, is A, A x squared plus B x plus C, no? Uh -huh. In this case, A, and here the four. In this case, B is four. Thousand. I see a zero because it's missing. We have no C here. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. I understand. Now, you want optimization. Yes, you want to find dollar. So, what is my goal? My goal is find the maximum or minimum. In this case, is the maximum revenue. Okay, the question say, I forgot to copy. What, what, 
what unit price is the question should be established for a dryer to maximize this is the action maximize revenue okay question one i have two questions and the second question say what what is the maximum revenue okay you have two answers the answer is p can guarantee maximum revenue now uh, uh, what about how many dollars you get the, the revenue but you solve it super easy using the famous formula h is equal minus b over 2a because the reason is i know that a is negative this is the parabola and the parabola up and down and this is the point of the vertex in the vertex we have in that case the maximum okay so now in our problem minus b b is four thousand two times a is negative four double negative become positive and to say four thousand divided by a case 500. This is the price, the optimum price to guarantee maximum revenue. Okay, but I want to investigate how many dollars you get in revenue when you fix it that price. Okay, let's do it. So you plug it in, in the formula. What formula? In the revenue prof uh, formula. And the revenue formula is revenue at $500. So you establish this price. Uh -huh, is Negative four, five hundred square, plus four thousand, multiplication by five hundred. Uh -huh. Okay, now, 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 when you compute that by calculator, maybe, no? You have a million. Okay, million and five hundred is the price. The price, the unit price for any, any, any units so I close this dryer do you understand or no okay i have another problem but no we have no time next class maybe i am doing the the next problem and uh, so now i want to recall please don't forget today send me by mail the test on paper okay i need to know any situation no, no, the normal situation that you, if you bring me, you send me by email.